Hi, welcome back to another Mongoose coding video. Here we're going to talk about data processing, and this is effectively preparing data to be used for a new purpose. Now, every data processing job is different, but the principles and procedures we cover here are ubiquitous. So, our objective is to map the light cast by streetlights. So, we need to convert the data from the light bulb manufacturers into a format readable by our mapping software. So let's take a look at the manufacturer data. I've placed a handful of files here in this directory. Let's take a look at GE's example. So you can already see some patterns here. They have some header data up top and a whole bunch of numeric data down below here. And this numeric data is what effectively translates into the map. It dictates how much light will be cast where. And you can already see groupings of data. Here's a group, here's a group, here's a group. And our objective is to get these groupings of data all on one row. So everything that I have selected here should be on one row. And you can see it's kind of curious how they have the file set up now. It's spread out obviously over four rows and it's not word wrapped. So these are actually four individual rows. So I'll type right here and you can see that this row that I'm typing on, this effectively is one row word wrapped, but these, all the other ones are not. So let me open this up in Excel and you can see it another way. So here's our tool. We're on the home page where all the user interface occurs, but let's drive over to the input sheet where we've already loaded the GE data. You can see the same general format, header info at the top, numeric data towards the bottom here. And again, our objective is to place each group of data on one single row. Now let me zoom out so you can see the data. It's pretty dynamic. Look how all of these rows kind of end at varying lengths. It's kind of incredible how they've created this, this data set. Anyways, our objective is to get each set of data on one row, and this is the crux of all data processing projects, finding the patterns that are present in all source files. It's very easy to find a pattern that is present in one or, or maybe only a few source files, but obviously you can only use patterns that are present in all files. And so this is why if you're having a company like Mongoose tackle your data processing project, it's imperative that you provide as many files as possible to really validate the patterns off of which the processing algorithm will be based. Now I'll discuss the pattern that we found here. The secret lies within these two numbers. These two numbers tell us how many data points are in each group. The first group of data has 73 data points. The second has 37 data points, and all groups of data after that have all 73. And we don't know how many groups may be after that, but we know that they all have 73 data points. So I'm just going to select the data until we have 73 cells selected. So you can see Excel is telling me that I have 73 cells with data selected. So let me zoom out. So you can see that this first data set starts with 0, increments by 2.5, all the way up to 180. So here's 73 data points. And then next we have a data set with 37 data points. And these just happen to be all stored on row 25 in this file. And then again, we're going back to 73 data points. And so boom, here we go. On these four rows contain the next data set. The next four rows contain the next data set. The next four contain the next data set. And so really our algorithm just walks through one by one. It says, okay, one, two, three, four, five, all the way until you have 73, and then it, boom, it goes down to the next row. Now that wraps it up. I hope that's been helpful. Again, the main point is finding the right pattern that will be applied to all source files. If you're working on a data processing project yourself, give us a call. We'd love to help you. Again, this is Mongoose Coding. Get the right tools for the job.